Hi, I'm Kendall at Educating Abroad on Teachers Pay Teachers. Here are four fun and engaging games you can play online with your students or with your child. It was really amazing to see the changes in my own students' attention and participation as soon as I started playing these fun Zoom games during our meetings. Try the free games first to see for yourself. Who doesn't love solving a good mystery? Each game in the mystery photo packs include 10 different rounds with two to three editable clues. Share your screen while students look at a portion of a photo and then they can either listen to you read the clues aloud or they can read them themselves. Give students a chance to try to solve the mystery before the answer is revealed. I spy with my little eye something that. Each game in these I spy descriptive and receptive language skills games includes six different rounds. This particular game is showing all things familiar. Each round has a grid of either six or nine photos that are related to one another and three editable clues. This game is great for classifying and discriminating new information because with each clue, the students get a little bit closer to discovering the correct answer. The final slide on each of these rounds includes a spot that says, what do you spy? And this gives students the chance to spy something different and create their own clues. This is the most physically interactive game. This particular scavenger hunt game is number one, household items. Each game includes 10 different challenges. Think of it like an organized show and tell, where students listen to a challenge and then run off to find something in their homes that meet that criteria. Students then return and explain how that item meets the challenge before they're then asked to take responsibility and put their item back where they found it. What Doesn't Belong is an open-ended critical thinking game where there are unlimited correct answers. This is the food themed game. Each game includes 10 rounds and in each round, students are shown four photos that are related to one another. Students must then describe why they believe one photo doesn't belong. There are really unlimited different possibilities based on your students' own ideas and understanding of the pictures. One possible explanation is provided for each set. This game is especially fun when playing in small groups where everyone has a chance to explain their thinking and get a chance to speak. I hope these educational games will spark critical thinking, creative reasoning, speaking and listening skills with your students just like they did with mine. So it doesn't matter if you're using Zoom or Skype or Google Meets, as long as you can share your screen, you and your students can play these games together online. If you're back in the classroom, you can also project these games and play. Each game is organized by a theme such as food or animals, seasons or topics. So be sure to check out my store, Educating Abroad, to see all the different games that are available to play using both Google Slides or PowerPoint.